tweet pin at October 20, 2016 Pregnancy can be hard for many women, but the seemingly innocuous use of antidepressant drugs during those long haul days of morning sickness and strange food cravings could have negative developmental effects on their unborn children, even long after these little ones exit the womb. A new study, October 14, 2016 You can prevent uncured gestational diabetes, and lower your child's risk of autism. Xanthorenic acid, XA, a tryptophan metabolite, is high in serum in gestational diabetes. Xanthorenic acid binds insulin, impeding its action vitamin. B6 lowers xanthorenic acid levels. September 27, 2016 There may be a connection between depression and gestational diabetes in pregnant women, according to a study conducted by researchers from the National Institutes of Health and published in the journal Diabetologia. The researchers found that women who were depressed during the earlier part of pregnancy, August 19, 2016 Many people mistakenly believe that acetaminophen, the painkiller in Tylenol, is a relatively safe medication. However, just because it's available over-the-counter does not mean that it cannot cause adverse effects. This is especially true when it comes to pregnant women. Even the most cautious, July 28, 2016 Illinois came one step closer to forcing its pro-life medical community to choose between violating state law and violating deeply held religious conscience Wednesday, as the state's House approved Senate Bill 1564 and set the legislation on the governor's desk. Article by Jay Hobbs, republished, July 15, 2016 Although pregnancy is viewed by most as a time to joyously anticipate the welcoming of a new life into the world, a rising number of new moms or moms to be struggle with symptoms of depression and anxiety. Depression during pregnancy is not to be taken lightly. Is a severe medical condition that, June 25, 2016 A daily diet of fast food during pregnancy can dramatically increase the risk of obesity in the next three generations of a woman's descendants, even if those descendants eat a healthy diet themselves, according to a shocking new study conducted by researchers from Washington University School of Medicine, June 24, 2016 There is now another reason to be concerned about the effects of antidepressant use, particularly if you're pregnant. A new study out of the Helsinki University Children's Hospital has uncovered a link between the use of antidepressants by pregnant women, and brain abnormalities in their newborns. Unfortunately, the 9th of June 2016 Although most people consider pregnancy a time of happiness and joy, that's not the reality for all mothers to be. Depression affects up to 19% of pregnant women. Approximately 7-9% of expectant mothers consume antidepressants during pregnancy. Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor, the 4th of June 2016 It is no secret that fruit is one of the healthiest and most nutritious foods any person can eat, but a new study indicates just how crucial it is for pregnant women to eat plenty of fruit. The study, which was published in eBiomedicine, involved an analysis of data taken from 688 children who were, May 17, 2016 A recent study has shown that high fructose consumption during pregnancy may lead to defects in the placenta and affect fetal development, causing an increased risk of metabolic health issues later on in a child's life. The research was conducted by a team at Washington University School of Medicine, February 25, 2016 New research indicates that the children of mothers who take Tylenol during pregnancy have a greater chance of developing asthma. The study, published February 9 in the International Journal of Epidemiology, suggests that an increased risk of asthma in children is associated with the prenatal use, December 17, 2015 While vaccines, pesticides, and other industrial contaminants have been publicly linked to the onset of autism spectrum disorder, we are now beginning to learn about the relationship between commonly prescribed antidepressants and the often severe developmental disability that astoundingly impacts one, October 13, 2015 2 hours 52 minutes and 45 seconds p.m., once again, ideology trumps constitutionality in deep blue California, where the state's democratic authoritarians are demanding 100% compliance over an issue near and dear to them, the deaths of as many unborn babies as they can possibly arrange. As reported by cnsnews.com, gov. Jerry Brown, August 15, 2015 A team from Vanderbilt University Medical Center has found that pregnant women who have been on opioid painkillers during pregnancy stand a higher chance of having small babies with birth complications or neonatal abstinence syndrome NAS, better known as postnatal withdrawal syndrome. NAS is, August 13, 2015 What's the cure for an unending, unrelenting season of hotter than average summer weather, especially if you're pregnant? Some of the best foods for a much-needed break from the heat also provide other pregnancy-related benefits. Here are some of the best two-for-one deals that you can nibble on through. February 13, 2015 It's commonly understood that stress during pregnancy can affect the newborn's health. 
the causal link for this understanding has been recently pursued by researchers at Red Boud University in Nijmegen, the Netherlands. There they tracked the intestinal flora development of 56 vaginally born babies from November 13, 2014 children exposed to flame retardant chemicals in the womb are more likely to suffer from hyperactivity and to have a low IQ at the age of 5, according to a study published in the journal Environmental Health Perspectives. Persistent pollutants The study focused specifically on the class of flame, the 5th of August 2014 since